Hello everyone, Lawrence here from Unicorn Reviews and in today's video we're going to have a look at passive CPU cooling. So some time ago I did a video on fan stacking, how well that worked and basically we found out that it doesn't work at all. So in another video a dude called ProBro actually suggested doing this video on passive cooling. So I'm going to go over the specs of our test system first. Basically we have a IV bridge setup here but I deleted the IV chip, it's an i5 clocked at normally 5 GHz but for this test clocked it down a little bit to 4.1 GHz so that it has like a good chance of succeeding without fans on the CPU cooler at all because that is of course our goal. We're going to do a test where we remove a fan each time so on this chip is a Noctua NHD14 naked mounted so without the IHS in between and we have three fans on there. So we have a 120 millimeter Silent Wings 2 fan, we have a 140 millimeter Silent Wings 2 fan, and then the case fan in the back is just a 120 millimeter in-wind fan. Now each test will be half an hour long of OCCT Linpack, and we're just going to take the highest temperature on our course, as well as looking at the highest temperature inside the case itself. So we have a, an idea of what the air inside the case is like temperature wise. Uh, all of our testing will be done at 21 degrees Celsius. So we'll have a weather station right there to, to check that. And then the top value is the internal temperature of the system. So let's get started doing a base test first. All right then guys, so the first test just finished. So our ambient temperature was 21 degrees Celsius. Inside the case temperatures got up to 24.9 and our hottest core reached a temperature of 67 degrees Celsius, giving us a delta of 46 degrees Celsius, which I think is really good for a 4.1 gigahertz CPU running three fans at only seven volts. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just remove fans one by one. So I'm going to start with the front fan so that we stick with a realistic scenario of only first the three fans then only the center fan and the case fan then only the case fan then no fans at all is what we're eventually going towards and if temperatures at that point are still good i'm also removing the uh, frontal two corsair sp140 fans and just run the, the case or the system completely without any fans at all and we'll see what happens then so with this second test with only a single fan in the center of the cooler our ambient temperature stayed the same our internal temperature stayed the same but our hottest core went uh, up to 72 degrees, so that's 5 degrees hotter than we had when we were running our triple fan setup. Uh, so this gives us a 51 degree Celsius temperature uh, delta compared to the 46 we had before. So let's move on to no fans on the cooler. Alright guys, so our third test is now finished, which is only with a single fan at exhausting and two intake fans in the front of the case. Uh, our amb ambient temperature is still at 21 degrees, but our internal temperature seems to be dropping. So we started out at 24.9 and we're now at 24.3 degrees Celsius, which is quite a, an interesting thing. However, the expected did happen with our CPU temperature. So we are now at 80 degrees Celsius, giving us a delta of 59 degrees Celsius on the hottest core. So let's move on to no fans near the CPU cooler itself. All right then guys, so the expected really just happened. So basically without fans on the CPU, we reach a thermal limit set in OCCT of 85 degrees Celsius. And I could remove that limit, but it was just shooting up. So there's no, uh, way we can run it like this safely and I don't want to ruin my own system. So we're going to change a few variables to make sure that we can actually get it to run passively. Now a bit of an issue with my case is that there is no exhaust in the top. Oops. There is no top exhaust and most cases will have some cutouts here for hot air to rise which is kind of what hot air does. And also because there's a graphics card right underneath there's not really any room there for air to vertically move through the case. So we're going to address that right now by simply taking off the side panel and hoping that that will be enough to keep the CPU under 85 degrees without fans on it. All right then guys, so it is time to admit defeat here. We are still going over our thermal limit within about 20 seconds of running, which is, you know, we can't make it work in this case. I'm sure that there are cases that offer a better vertical airflow such as the Silverstone Fortress cases or basically any case where the graphics card isn't this close to the CPU cooler and where there is some airflow uh, able to go vertically out of the case. But in this scenario with this CPU running at these frequencies at 1.2 volts, um, I can't get this thing to work. 
So I guess that's pretty much our conclusion then for today. You can cool something passively as long as your cooler is big enough and there has to be some sort of airflow. We saw that with this fan gone, the center fan gone. It was still running because this fan at the back was getting some of the hot air out. At the moment without any fans going on here there's simply not enough airflow being pushed with these front fans through the case the entire distance which is why we're overheating. Now when I get another cooler or a different case I will try to make this setup work but the Inwin 805 case that we're using here today simply does not have the airflow needed to passively cool an overclocked i5 CPU and I could lower the clock speeds on this thing but it really won't matter all that much because basically there's just a, hot, a lot of heat being stacked into the CPU right here and everything's overheating. However with just one fan I could take this fan out and this fan out and just run it on a single fan would work beautifully fine but for my uses I'm going back to 5 gigahertz with all fans running at 7 volt because it's almost equal, equally quiet and it's just an awful lot faster. So guys, if you liked this fail video, there's the like button. If you didn't, there's the dislike button. Please subscribe to Unicorn Reviews because I do put up fun videos. I think they're fun. This was fun. It was a waste of time though, but it was a fun waste of time. Uh, so I put up these videos every Tuesday and Friday at around seven, actually exactly at seven. So subscribe if you want to see those. Subscribing is completely free and it really helps the channel out a lot. So please do that. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter if you really want to. And uh, you can even support the channel on Patreon so I can get better camera equipment. But for now, that was pretty much it. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. <music>